President Vladimir Putin says Russia's ties with China cannot be influenced by other countries. He was speaking at a meeting with China's top diplomat Wang Yi in Moscow as part of a European tour. Now this comes as tension rises over Russia's war with Ukraine ahead of the one-year anniversary of the armed conflict. To the international community, Russia's invasion of Ukraine is an intolerable act of aggression. But China and Russia say they are opposed to all form of bullying as the U.S. and EU prepare more sanctions on Russia. The U.S. says China is considering supplying weapons and ammunition to Russia, a claim still being strongly denied by China. But China's top diplomat, Wang Yi, says the relationship between the two countries is developing in a highly dynamic way. Wang Yi says it will work to deepen relations between Moscow and Beijing and he expects new agreements to be reached. Meanwhile, in Kharkiv, a mayor says there were four strikes targeting industrial facilities. He warns that there may be more. The Regional Center for Emergency Medical Assistance says two people have been injured and are being treated. Former UK Prime Minister Tony Blair says the war in Ukraine will only end when it's absolutely clear to the Russian President Vladimir Putin that his war ambitions cannot succeed. Mr. Blair told the radio program President Putin's last hope is that the resolve of the West is integrated in some ways and dissipates. He adds that the truth is that history is littered with wars that lasted many years longer than anybody expected to become tests of endurance and resilience as much as military maneuver, and that is what the war in Ukraine has become. U.S. President Joe Biden has said in his visit to Poland that, quote, the appetite of the autocrats cannot be appeased, they can only be opposed. He added that Ukraine will never be a victory for Russia. President Putin, President Putin is confronted with something today that he didn't think was possible a year ago. The democracies of the world have grown stronger, not weaker. But the autocrats of the world have grown weaker, not stronger. Because in the mo moments of great upheaval and uncertainty, that no for is most important. Russian forces are continuing to inch forward in the east of the country of Ukraine, particularly around the city of Bakhmut. Joining me now 